I have in this box my brand new big rattlesnake. An hour south, Pastor Andrew Hamblin is coming face to face with his newest prize, one of the biggest timber rattlesnakes he's ever seen. When I say big, I mean it is a monster of a snake. It's gonna take him an act of God to see a snake like this handle. But it is by far the biggest around. I can't even fit my whole hand around him. I don't normally name my snakes because they're just snakes, but I'm gonna call this one Tiny. If this snake wanted to, he could come out of my hand and he'd be over. Andrew knows the dangers of rattlers. A rattlesnake bite nearly killed him exactly three years ago. The morning I got snake bit, we had this yellow timber rattler, and he had been handled a hundred times. And the Lord spoke to me and told me to leave it alone. And in my mind, I thought, no, I'm taking it to church. Bam, he caught me. And within 15 minutes time, I was done starting to swell and done getting to where I couldn't breathe. I began to vomit blood all over myself and all over the church. I went to Pineville Hospital. They flew me from there to the University of Kentucky. I was bleeding into my lungs, my bowels, my kidneys, everything. And they told me I was going to die. I called him, I told him, I believe him. Here comes Jamie through the door and he began to pray and started speaking in tongues. I knew then I was gonna live. The lesson that was learned was that when God tells you to leave one alone, leave it alone. That's the reason Andrew has yet to use Tiny during church services. I don't know if I'll pack him for this Friday service or not. If I feel the okay to, then yeah, I'll load him up. You know, it's, it's gonna make a believer out of somebody. <laughs>